So Halloween is approaching. What's the plan for taking your kids out trick-or-treating? What did you used to do before you guys split up and what's the plan for now? First of all, if you don't have a plan, the likelihood is that your children know you don't have a plan and they're probably stressing themselves in terms of what's about to happen for Halloween. Secondly, if we think through the eyes of the child, what is it that the child would want? The likelihood is the child just wants whatever you used to do before you split up. So if the two of you would take the children trick-or-treating together, they probably want that unless it's such a negative environment that that's not a good thing. And I would also suggest to you, it's not about us, the adults, it's about the children. Halloween is a fun day for kids to have fun, trick-or-treating, get some candy, maybe go trick-or-treating with their friends. They don't want to get up all in mom and dad's business about the fact that they're divorcing or they're separated and they can't get along and they can't figure out who's taking them trick-or-treating. So if you have a really difficult ex-spouse that you're dealing with and in their mind it's too bad, so sad, Halloween happens to be my parenting day, so I'm the one that's taking the kids out trick-or-treating, that's really an unfortunate circumstance, but it does happen. And so my challenge to you, the other parent, is maybe you can come up with some other tradition that would still make the kids happy. It's not ideal because maybe the other parent's not allowing you to be part of the trick-or-treating, but maybe there's something you could do that still makes Halloween special between you and the child, and at least that's a consolation. If it's a case where the two of you can be mature, you don't love the idea of going trick-or-treating together, but you know that that's what you used to do, and you know that your children would like that, then how about just doing it? Just putting all issues aside, it's not about talking about any issues with the kids or in front of the kids or with the ex-spouse while Halloween trick-or-treating is happening. It's just about everybody enjoying the moment. So how about putting everything aside and going trick-or-treating all together? I can tell you in my own situation, that's what we did. It doesn't mean I liked my ex-spouse all the time or that he likes me, but we both know that it's what's best for the kids. And so we would just arrange, okay, this is the time for trick-or-treating. Both of us will go at a certain time. If one of the parents wants to continue, that's fine too. And so I actually used to leave a bowl of candy outside my door while I was tricking, tr trick or treating with my kids and then would come back and hand out candy when I got back. But in that situation, our children got the benefit of both parents going just as we would before we split up. There was no stress placed on the child in terms of choosing who they get to go trick or treating with or even thinking through, wow, I don't get to see one of my parents on Halloween and they don't get to see me dressed up in this awesome costume. We don't wanna put that kind of stress on our kids. It's not their fault that we're splitting up and it's not their fault that we can't get along, but it's, it's up to us as the parents to be mature adults and do what's best for the children. So um, I challenge you to try to work together and regardless of whose parenting day it is this year for Halloween, is there something you can do that would be in the best interest of the kids and be a win-win situation where everyone's happy, everyone gets to see the kids trick-or-treating, the kids get to see each parent in their awesome costumes, and just enjoy Halloween for what it is. Have a great day, food for thought.